Jesus told me, My servant, Satan has diverted many from my path, I did not offer fame, recognition, and applause, I said that they would be persecuted and hated for my name's sake, and afflictions would pass, in a short passage I had in Nigeria, I heard of the famous synagogue church of the nations of the prophet T.B. Joshua, I paid a visit to this temple that is in the Lagos, I did not know about it earlier as I do not watch the rotten media, but I learned of its fame in Nigeria, he is a millionaire shepherd, is not as poor as many think, he has become wealthy with the money of the poor people of Nigeria, as they entered that gigantic temple, crowds of people were there, I felt a great negative charge, very heavy energy for a serious church, I stared at this prophet, soon my vision opened, behind the altar, I saw a black throne in the name of Lucifer, there was a terrible demon who performs many cures, this man T.B. Joshua was doing a lot of deliverance and exorcism, what I saw in that place was not deliverance. It was demonic manifestations and great possessions happening in that place, this shepherd called the demons to live in the bodies of these people, legions of airborne demons came through the roof of that temple, camouflaging inside the bodies of the people. The demons were silent, hidden secretly inside each person, without manifesting, passing a false appearance of liberation. They manifested and then watched that they had come out getting very still, when the meetings were over, people would leave that place full of demons, in a serious church, demons cannot hide, they are forced to manifest because of the presence of the Holy Spirit, in my ministry, they tried to hide, but the fire of the Holy Spirit burned them. They could not withstand the fiery flames of destruction, churches that do not please God, do not have the presence of the Holy Spirit, in those kinds of churches, demons are resistant and do not manifest, if there is any manifestation of demons, it is only for deception within the church, the Holy Spirit has revealed to me that this false shepherd is like a kind of African messiah who has a charity to help children and poor people, but the reality is a way to win souls for Satan. Many have told me that he works miracles in the name of Jesus, I said, even if I speak in the name of Jesus, it does not mean that it is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit does not attend to those who do not have the credentials of Jesus, the demons operate even in the name of Jesus, my vision went beyond the twelve reservoirs of holy water in this church, they were called waters of the cleansing of sins, where people came in with T.B. Joshua to bathe. The Spirit has revealed to me that he is a fornicator, this man seduces women of his church by prostituting themselves with them so that they become fertile and healed from the womb, what I saw was the demon of healing and false deliverance, he does not release the imprisoned, but put more people in the hands of Satan, no one from other ministries has an opportunity to do healing and deliverance in that place other than his workers, everyone who has authority from Jesus. I see a spiritual ring in his right hand, in that false prophet, there was not the ring of God's authority on his finger, all the servants of God who live the truth, I see the ring of God's authority on his finger, those who do not have the ring and cast out demons and heal does not come from God, I have seen many people without the ring operating many wonders, there was no fire of the Holy Spirit in their lives but a demon on their side performing the cures, what struck me is that on the finger of T.B. Joshua, it was not like the hands of other false prophets who have no ring, he was the first false prophet that I saw with a black ring on his left hand, this ring is spiritually equal to the golden ring of God, not to be seen with the carnal eyes, only those that Jesus allows, I saw many legions flying on the roof of that satanic synagogue, I left that temple because I could not stand the deception. This is not the first and it will not even be the last church I visited where the demons operate signs, already there had been a church of a bishop, who was not freed from vanity and expelled demons, they only pretended that they would go away for the people to believe that that woman has authority from God, though she did not leave her vanities, her liberal doctrines were credible, I warn the church, Jesus does not give authority to anyone. He delegated his authority to his disciples and today is in the hands of the true church, Jesus would never give authority to Christians to deceive the people with false doctrine, Jesus cannot give gifts to false prophets, if Jesus did this he would agree with the deceit, Jesus would never make a covenant with falsehood, when God created the world, he separated the light from the abyss of darkness, 
as well as those who are in the darkness of hell cannot pass into the light of paradise. 2 Corinthians 6, 14,15 For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what communion can have the light with darkness? What harmony between Christ and Belial? What is there in common between the believer and the unbeliever? Jesus is the light and can have no share with those who serve the darkness. Days after visiting this synagogue church of the nations, I returned to the hotel I rented in Nigeria. I had a vision, I saw a church that was covered in black tarpaulin. This tarp was five meters above the ceiling of that church. People prayed and their prayers did not rise until the sky stopped on the black cover. My vision went further. I saw four wizards performing a great satanic ritual to block the prayers of those people. I asked Jesus, why is that church was losing the war to those wizards? Jesus said to me, this church is dead in their iniquities, they do not repent of their sins, their prayers have no effect against the force of evil that these wizards command. Seeing the sad situation of this church, I went to pay a visit to a church, when Pastor Abbe Omi Itbo gave me the opportunity. I went up on the pulpit and said for them to abandon their sins and make a cry of humiliation before God, the word was of correction, and the people wept repenting, and afterward, they made a loud cry, my vision opened, I saw an angel with a sword of flaming fire coming down from the sky and tearing up that spiritual covering with the sword, when that black covering was spread out in the middle, the prayers that were held up began to rise to the sky, helmet of salvation after this vision. The people finished the cry, a Christian woman stood, I saw a gold helmet coming down from the sky and wearing her head, demons from outside the church threw black fireballs at this woman's head, but those balls could not get into that gold helmet, her head was well coated and all balls hit and fell to the ground, I asked Jesus what that means, the Holy Spirit revealed to me and said, she has been confused about true doctrine. Many false churches have implanted a false gospel in her mind, she has heard the lies, the demons were attacking her mind to mess up and drive her crazy, today this spirit of confusion fell to the ground and left her life, she was clothed with the helmet of salvation and will never be deceived, she has her mind protected, evil darts will not penetrate her head anymore, through this cry that was in this place, she gave herself and poured out her soul in the presence of God. The prayer of the church was essential for the defeat of Satan and his wizards, to make a covenant of fidelity, abandoning sin, after that sight. The church ended and I went home, and when I arrived I rested and prayed till dawn, spiritual warfare I had a terrible vision, I saw an army of demons coming together to kill me and overthrow my faith, they planned to make me fall and destroy my ministry, in this meeting, demons rose from hell, seas, earth, and air, a principality of Nigeria said, let's attack the missionary Kenzo, we will destroy his ministry, we will attack all areas of his life, he has a point that will shake your faith, we have to overthrow him and make him sin by denying his God, and then when he falls into sin, we will kill and take his soul to hell, this pastor has revealed our secrets, preaching the truth to the world, we have lost many souls because of his ministry, we are struggling to stop him. Now he is making men like him, making disciples and being the mirror to many, many are being raised on earth because of his ministry, if one Kenzo is difficult to stop, imagine several Kenzo around the world, he has been making copies of himself, this missionary has been giving a lot of soul harm to us, many who have heard his preaching have died and are in heaven, we have to stop him, we cannot let him continue, every soul that heard this missionary repaired their lives. Those who died are with their God, that has kindled my anger, let's put together a strategy to overthrow his ministry, it's just a man of flawed flesh who feels desires, when I saw this vision I was worried at night, and yet I went to minister in another church, before I climbed the pulpit, I was sitting behind the pulpit with the pastor at the of that church, the Holy Spirit spoke through him and gave an account of what he saw, pastor. Jesus revealed to me that an evil army ready to attack you, Jesus told me, to raise a cry for the life of the pastor tonight, we will be presenting the missionary this morning to God to give you the strength to face this militia that has risen against your life, after hearing this revelation, I felt a force inside me, I preached that night and went home, the Holy Spirit said, fear not, 
I am with you, they have risen to fall, Satanist. The next morning I went to buy some food, in the center of the city among the large crowd, a man from a long distance was looking straight at me, this man approached me and said, you are a Christian, I replied, yes, as you know, he said, I saw your body shine from afar like a little light that shines in this dark city, I have talked to men who called themselves pastors, bishops, apostles, and missionaries, if they did not tell me they were Christians, I would never know, their bodies did not shine, their light was off, I have the gift and I see, they do not ascend in the rapture, I have been working to prevent the churches in Nigeria from being saved, I have worked with several pastors not to let this nation rise, these people will welcome the prince of darkness and his mark, I do not have to complain about my God, I made a blood pact with Beelzebub, and I work for a large company Royal Dutch Shell, I am the right arm of my boss, I will continue to rise from the office to become the new boss, I have everything I want, Satan fulfilled my dreams, I have not seen you wage spiritual warfare, I recognize your worth in the spirit world, I also know that you are at war with the demons, I am a high level Satanist, I know what's going on in the spirit world, I am on the inside of the spiritual world news, a demon named Pazuzu spoke of you to me, you are very famous in the spiritual world and you are looking like a celebrity, not all Christians who have their names spoken in demonic meetings, only those who live the holy gospel and go through all the tribulations that have their names well spoken, tell me Kenzo, I answered the Satanist, you know my name without knowing me, it can only be the demons that spoke to you, Antichrist the Satanist answered me, that's right, he told me you are the devils, people look at me and they do not believe that I am a sorcerer because I look elegant, I am a friend of several pastors, I have no enemy, Jesus said that we have to love our neighbor, I have no reason to wage war with you, we will not gain anything from it, I want to make an alliance with all Christian churches and religions, soon all will unite in one love, to receive the Antichrist who will rule the world, I will overcome this war by making alliances with the churches and defiling the holy gospel, I will never overcome this war by speaking evil of Christians, but by uniting and loving they will be defeated, my mission is to bring together all peoples of different religions, peoples, and races for the arrival of our king, a new era will come and all religions will disappear, only a single religion will exist, anti-Christianity, when a Satanist spoke these words he disappeared from my front and appeared thirty meters away, then disappeared, I do not know where he went, I went back home wondering if that man was a man or a demon, he had disappeared just like a spirit, I bowed my knee praying to God, asking for revelation if that man was real, Jesus showed me in a vision, this man being transported to various places and cities, he did not drive because he had this ability, the demon that possessed him could make his body move from one place to another at high speed, Jesus revealed to me that he's just a man, not a demon like I thought, Jesus told me, no matter how much I condemn the evil deeds I love this soul and I want to save him, this man made a pact with Satan and in the contract, it was written that he would have this ability to move, he is being deceived, Satan promised great things and will not fulfill his deal in this covenant, he is a liar no matter how faithful that Satanist is in the covenant, Satan is plotting to reap his soul to keep what he has promised, and the sorcerer does not know, I would bring him to you to take the word, causing him to escape from death and gain salvation, Satan has not yet taken his life because he is useful for his purposes, when he does not need him anymore, he will kill him and put another one to replace him, my servant, I am love, I do not use and play out like Satan. I always lead you closer to my presence, at the end of the revelation, Jesus showed me in a vision that Satanist doing a ritual to kill a Christian in order to stay with his wife, this Satanist cast a spell on this Christian's wife, she was not clothed in God's armor, that magic entered her mind, this Christian woman fell in love with the Satanist and left her husband, this man had strong magnetism on Christian women, that was not the first, he would do a ritual with a female skull, pick up strands of hair in his sister's salon, this satanist had already made more than fifty women fall in love with him through the ritual of the skull, they were maddened with love for him based on the spells cast on them, 
I saw a demon stirring inside the head of every woman going crazy for the sorcerer. He did rituals for businessmen to go crazy and deposit money into his account. The demons controlled the minds of the entrepreneurs making them deposit money into his account, the Lord said. Despite his evil deeds I want to forgive him and bring him in my way, after these visions, a few days later I meet with this Satanist again, he said. He thought well of our covenant, I replied, repent of your sins, leave sorcery, you have little time of 